What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about a few things in this video here. We'll be talking about It Chapter 3. Well, I actually I'll say welcome to Dairy, aka what I'm going to be calling It Chapter 3. Also, we'll be talking about Halloween Ends. We'll be talking about Scream 6. And we'll be talking about The Nun 2. Just to kick it off with Welcome to Dairy. Welcome to Dairy is still a TV series that's coming, despite the Warner Brothers Discovery merging that's happened earlier this year. They had all of us PLL original sins out there worried to death. Um, luckily, that's not the only show that's been saved. Welcome to Dairy, for those who are not aware, will serve as a prequel series to It and It Chapter 2. That show is still going to happen. We know earlier this year we were told about a writer's room being assembled. And I think there was some image shared on Twitter. I might have touched on it briefly in another video I've done. Uh, HBO Max made this announcement about this show earlier this year in March. But no real plot specifics were given. Now, as of this new report from Variety, still no real specific plot plot specifics were given uh, but i will do a separate video just to talk about it more in depth variety is reporting today that the series is still alive with the news breaking that jason futch i believe that's how it's pronounced or or yeah i'll just say futch and brad caleb kane will serve as co-showrunners on the it prequel series that's currently in the works at hbo max from andy and barbara muschietti andy we know directed the first two movies and this report is also mentioning some reports out there i saw mentioning that he's being eyed to direct the pilot for the series now I know some people were not a fan of it chapter two maybe not even that you weren't a fan you just thought it was a abhorrent downgrade compared to that original movie and i will say his first movie is superior over the second one but i still enjoy what he's done with those adaptations that he did from 2017 and the sequel from 2019 now me and many others after going through jeepers creepers reborn if you're a jeepers creepers jeepers creepers fan out there i know the biggest thing that's probably on your mind right now is will they give us the person who brought the character to life in these most recent two adaptations who did a phenomenal job that of course being bill skarsgård or will we be robbed of that like how we were robbed of jonathan breck for this nasty return of the jeepers creepers series all of this will be revealed in good time i am looking forward to this prequel series can't wait to see what they do with it but just to jump into halloween ends really quick halloween ends has earned over 100 million at the box office just a little small update regarding halloween halloween ends and its box office halloween ends again has earned over 100 million that's another financial w for this series even though it, yes it is a step down from that original 2018 movie that came out and despite how you may feel about the last entry in green's trilogy it's a solid accomplishment it's a solid accomplishment especially for a slasher film obviously it would have done more presumably if it didn't release on peacock simultaneously as well the but the box office success to me is enough proof that down the road this character this ip will eventually return whether that be in the form of an anthology or a new timeline will be decided in the future I'm going to go out and predict that Michael Myers will be back on the big screen before 2030. But if not, the shape will return eventually to haunt the town of Haddonfield once more. And I do think that the anthology route can work and how Corey was utilized in Halloween ends, I would say is enough evidence for me to think that something like that can work without Michael's presence. Because you kind of already have people arguing that this story could have been better for an anthology film. So you kind of just have to wonder if they went the whole complete anthology route. How would, that, how would that go over? Depending on who's pinning it and what creative team is behind it, that of course would make or break any project. But I think an anthology movie prior to Michael Myers' inevitable return will be what happens next. If not, then you'll just have Michael Myers back before what I'm predicting to be before 2030. Uh, I'll just jump on into Scream 6 for this next topic. Jenna Ortega has made some new comments related to the upcoming film that we know now is coming out three weeks earlier in March on March 10th. So these comments were specifically about Nev and the movie being action packed. It seems she has some other nice comments about hating herself, but nothing really too relevant to Kirby's role. So I don't want to go over those. When speaking to Entertainment Tonight, she said this move. She said this about the movie, and when speaking about Nev, she said Nev's absence. I will say there's so much going on in this next one that it's so action heavy and so gore heavy that I think you're going to be distracted almost. So some people think she means they're going to be distracted by the absence of Sydney. Now honestly this movie should be like that that's how it should be because if the movie is lacking then that's just going to be another thing that is turning off those people 
who are agitated by the lack of Sydney and they swear that the movie cannot exist without her. So if they're able to maintain a strong representation in every other regard without Sydney, then you'll have a good screen movie on your hands. I've always said this, Sydney is not needed to have a good screen movie when you have had one of the weakest entries with her presence. So it's not it's not that she's needed as much as we all would want her to be in it. <laughs> that, there's a complete difference. So she also said this when talking about Sydney being referenced in the movie. She said that she said there's references to Sydney, of course. You know, it's nice because there's still a protectiveness in the script, and that's something that the actors had naturally over her because obviously we respect her and we want the best for her. So she says she's missed and thought of. I still will say that I think Nev will appear in the movie. That's just what I'm going to go off of. That is my hope. <laughs> if she doesn't appear, then she just doesn't appear. It's not the end of the world. Uh, some people might think it is, but again, there's certain things that were going on with Sydney that were wrapped up in Scream 3. Screen 4, Screen 5, they've all utilized her in an effective fashion, but how much longer until you end up shoehorning her into movies where it's not related to her just because she's Sydney Prescott? And then it's like, okay, at that point, you're wasting the character. The character was always seeking peace. Let her have her peace. Just conclude this by talking about The Nun 2. This image you see here on your screen is of Storm Reed. Shout out to you, Jonathan, because you shared this with me a couple days ago. Storm Reed was spotted on set of The Nun 2 in her costume that she will be wearing on set, for, I guess, for certain scenes in the movie. I'm assuming she's going to be going to some religious school out in France. I believe this is set like a few years after the first movie, in like 1956. We know Sister Irene will return to battle Valak, who I'm assuming will be still in the character of Frenchie, who was also going to be returning. This is something that I highlighted once I noticed that James Wan tagged the actor responsible for playing Frenchie in the first movie. It also reminded me of the fact that a casting call did mention that somebody on campus working at a school that it seems like this movie will be set at will be named Frenchie. So with that in mind, I'm assuming these are one in the same Frenchies from the first movie. And Irene will track down this girl who is at this school and help her when Frenchie is detected causing problems. And she will try to bite, try to fight, fight off Valak and keep Storm Reed's character safe, yada, yada, yada all that good stuff <laughs> so also just one one last little bit the crooked the crooked man spinoff that was canceled just to throw that in there i know that's something that a lot of people had already kind of predicted but he announced it james Wan, that being a few days ago but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you had already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course there's any movies news or reviews like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video